Hey you guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel. I'm so glad that you stumbled across this video because today my goal is to convince you that weight loss is ridiculously simple. So stick around if you want to learn how you can do it for yourself. So what's up? My name is Liz. My goal for my YouTube channel is to help you find joy and empowerment through healthy living and to help you live a more vibrantly alive life. And if that's something you're interested in doing, make sure you hit the subscribe button and smash that like button if this is the kind of content you enjoy seeing. So to lose one pound a week, you need about a total of a 3,500 calorie deficit per week, which is only a 500 calorie deficit per day. And I know you're thinking 500 calories, that's a whole meal, like that's so much, but it's really not. To do this is a lot more simple than you would think, so bear with me, I will explain. First, let me address nutrition. So for breakfast, for example, you could eat two Krispy Kreme donuts, which would equal 400 calories for two Krispy Kreme donuts. Or for example, something I like to eat very often, and it's something I included in my most recent What I Eat in a Day video, it's just an egg scramble on a bed of half of an avocado. And so you just put the avocado diced up, put two eggs in a pan with mushrooms, onions, a little bit of garlic powder, some salt, pepper, and maybe some crushed red pepper if you're into that. And that is less calories than two Krispy Kreme donuts. That's gonna come out to about 320 calories and it's gonna keep you full for much longer because let's be real, those Krispy Kreme donuts are gonna last you about an hour, whereas a meal like this with more complex ingredients are gonna keep you full for probably about three hours because it's going to elongate your blood sugar curve and put those hunger hormones in their place, keep them at bay and keep you satisfied until your next meal, which would be lunch. So for lunch, for an example, you could drive through McDonald's, get a Big Mac meal with a large Coke for a total of 1,180 calories with a side of acne and regret. But all joking aside, 1,180 calories, oh my goodness. Admittedly, McDonald's, that could keep you full for a little while, but it's gonna do nothing for your body and its function overall. Something that you could replace that with that would keep you full equally as long because of the avocado that I'm going to include, which is a healthy fat. You can do a shrimp salad. So you could do shrimp, lettuce, spinach, avocado, put some flax, some ground flaxseed in there that you won't even be able to taste. The only dressing you would use is like olive oil, salt, and pepper, which is sufficient. If you've never done this before for a salad, it's a major hack and it tastes so good. This is gonna be significantly less calories, probably around 400, I haven't checked yet. Not only is that salad going to nourish your body instead of making you feel regret, <laughs> It will help you stay within your calorie minimum and also keep you full for the amount of time that you need to stay full. The next super realistic way to reach that 500 calorie a day deficit is 15 to 20 minutes of HIIT cardio a day. It can burn up to 300 calories at your level of full exertion. So that means just push yourself as hard as you can and you can burn up to 300 calories in 15 to 20 minutes. That is like barely any of your day and it'll help you stay in your calorie deficit and get you one step closer to your goal. And just a helpful resource, something that I've used since like high school, is MyFitnessPal. It is a calorie counter and it's free in the app store on iPhone and Android. This video is not sponsored, <laughs> um, but it's something that if you don't know what the calorie content of most foods you eat is, this is going to help you immensely. That's extremely helpful in understanding the calories that you're eating because I bet you didn't know that a Big Mac meal was 1,180 calories. It's nuts. <laughs> so in my closing thoughts for this video and just some advice moving forward, my number one thing would be don't drink your calories. So like the large Diet Coke I was talking about earlier from McDonald's is 290 calories. And if you have two of those a day, like that's just gonna blow your calorie deficit out of the water. So my first tip would be to just cut out pop. Cut out really high calorie drinks and just try to go for water and coffee. Like that's, that's all I drink. I just drink water and coffee and that's sufficient for me personally. Or you could do tea if you're a tea person. But my first tip is to don't drink your calories. My next tip is to take baby steps. This is what your fitness journey is all about, being patient in general. You don't have to start on the calorie deficit on the first day or even the first week. Just start decreasing and do what you're comfortable with and then start from there. I also wanted to say that results take 
time, okay? The worst possible decision you could make is to give up. Don't give up on yourself and just think, there are 52 weeks in a year and you could, by this time next year, have lost 52 pounds if you just keep your eye on the prize and keep moving forward, taking those tiny baby steps with faith, knowing that in time you will reach your goals if you stay focused and on track. And now it's just time to decide, commit, and execute. But it's absolutely vital that you're patient and that you trust the process. These steps are simple. You either do them or you don't, but it's just as easy to not do them. These seemingly simple decisions made over time consistently can add up to one of the biggest accomplishments of your life. Let me know down in the comments below if you enjoyed this video and please give it a thumbs up if you did. If you found this content valuable, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I make new videos every single week. I upload two videos a week, one on Friday and one on Tuesday. A lot of this video was inspired by this book. It's called The Slight Edge. It's by Jeff Olson and this book just talks about basically baby steps. If you're into reading and you're just nervous that you're not going to be able to stay on track, read 10 pages of this book a day and it will help you to stay motivated and remind you of the attitude behind your actions and give you some wisdom to keep moving forward in your fitness journey. As always, helping you find joy and empowerment through healthy living and helping you live your life more vibrantly alive. We will talk very, very soon. Love you guys. Bye-bye. Hey, also, if you don't know how to work out and you need ideas, I also have that on my channel. So go check it out. Okay, bye.